faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it. And it'll just rip. And I'm terrified by that. Astronomers worldwide are sounding the alarm. Renowned experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson have just confirmed that Polaris is on the brink of exploding. The backstory is unsettling. As the North Star, Polaris has been a steadfast presence in the night sky, a reliable reference for stargazers, navigators and astronomers. This stability might soon be altered, potentially reshaping our night sky and impacting astronomical measurements. Join us as we reveal the seriousness of this threat and explore the implications for all of us. The North Star, Polaris, is facing uncertainty. Research from the Royal Astronomical Society suggests it's on the verge of exploding, potentially disappearing from our skies. Located 323 light years away, any event on Polaris would take centuries to reach Earth. It holds historical significance across civilizations, aiding navigation and symbolizing constancy. As a Cepheid variable star, Polaris's recent irregular pulsations have puzzled scientists, hinting at its possible end. Some compare its behavior to Betelgeuse, another star showing signs of an imminent explosion. Despite NASA's focus on Betelgeuse, Polaris hasn't received similar official attention. Kefid stars undergo a journey through various phases in their evolutionary cycle. Newborn stars start with relatively low temperatures and brightness. They then move into the main sequence phase marked by nuclear fusion, remaining stable for billions of years. Eventually, as their hydrogen fuel depletes, they transition into the red giant phase, characterized by a rapid increase in temperature and brightness. The red giant phase sees a dramatic surge in energy output before culminating in a catastrophic explosion. They shed outer layers in a dazzling display known as a supernova. After the explosion, what remains is a compact, dense core known as a white dwarf. Observing Polaris's unusual pulsations, scientists predict the star has entered a phase of helium depletion, akin to the behavior seen in Cepheid stars approaching the end of their life cycles. As a Cepheid star uses up its stable helium, it experiences erratic pulsations, causing variations in its brightness. This depletion sets off a series of events leading to irregular light emissions, potentially reflecting the depletion process within Polaris. It's essential to note that while these irregularities match behaviors typical of Kefid stars in their twilight phases, clear signs of Polaris reaching the ultimate stage of its life cycle are still inconclusive. Astronomers continue to study these irregularities, aiming to understand the impending fate of Polaris. If Polaris were to go supernova, it would likely be a spectacular event in our sky. The star could suddenly become exceptionally bright, possibly surpassing the moon and becoming one of the brightest objects in the night sky. This dazzling display might last for days, weeks or even months. The star's appearance could undergo a dramatic change, transforming into a brilliant point of light or a temporary object with vibrant hues before fading away. This visual spectacle might temporarily alter our familiar view of the Big Dipper or Ursa Minor, as Polaris is the current North Star and part of these constellations. Rest assured, though, we would be perfectly safe given Polaris's mass and distance. Even if the star were to explode, Earth would likely remain unaffected. Visually, while a Polaris explosion might not be as eye-catching as Betelgeuse's, it could still be seen with the naked eye for an extended period and outshine nearby stars. Astronomers and observatories would surely notice, sparking interest among the scientific community and stargazers globally. However, the specific impact on Earth's atmosphere or surroundings would likely be less significant compared to a closer supernova event. Now, let's talk about the fate of the star itself. Facing a potential supernova, what will happen to Polaris after the cataclysm? Let's be clear. Polaris, unlike giant stars that typically end with a supernova, will probably not go through this. In a typical supernova, a massive star undergoes a colossal explosion, marking its final cataclysmic stage. 
This explosion disperses heavy elements and sometimes leads to the formation of neutron stars or black holes. This process involves the core of a high-mass star collapsing completely, requiring a mass about eight times that of our Sun. When such a star runs out of nuclear fuel, it can't resist gravity, leading to the collapse of its core. This collapse sets off a powerful shockwave that races outward, causing the star to explode vigorously. Supernovae come in two main types, Type Y and Type Tam II, and the way they unfold is quite distinct. Type II supernovae happen in massive stars with intricate layers. Here, the core collapses, and the outer layers explosively eject, creating a burst of light and energy visible over vast distances. This type is more frequent. On the flip side, a type I supernova occurs in binary star systems with a white dwarf involved. In one scenario, the companion star expands, tossing material into the orbit of the white dwarf. When the white dwarf accumulates enough mass, hitting about 1.4 times the sun's mass, it undergoes nuclear fusion, causing a sudden explosion and releasing a massive amount of energy. In another scenario, if two white dwarfs in a binary system merge due to shrinking orbits, their combined mass surpasses the critical limit, triggering a runaway fusion reaction and resulting supernova. Type wine supernovae have a consistent brightness, making them useful as standard candles to measure cosmological distances. This helps us estimate the age of the universe and the rate of its expansion. After a supernova, when a star's core collapses, it can result in the formation of either a neutron star or a black hole. A neutron star is known for its incredibly high density. Packed into a space similar to a modern city, it holds 1.4 to 3 times the mass of our Sun, mainly composed of closely packed neutrons, tiny components found in atomic nuclei. On the other hand, a black hole's density is so extreme that its gravitational force traps even light, making it a cosmic void without detectable radiation emissions. However, Polaris takes a different path. Its fate doesn't involve becoming a neutron star or a black hole because its mass is insufficient for a supernova explosion. Despite being five times more massive than the Sun as a Cepheid variable star, Polaris lacks the mass needed for a supernova event. Instead, when Polaris exhausts its nuclear fuel, it will gracefully shed its outer layers, turning into a serene white dwarf, a small, incredibly dense remnant that signifies the star's peaceful conclusion. A white dwarf, the leftover of a low or medium mass star using up its nuclear fuel, possesses tremendous density, equal in mass to the sun, but condensed to the size of Earth. As a star exhausts its nuclear fusion fuel, gravity takes over, causing a collapse. Over time, these remnants, now mirroring our current observations, will vanish from our view. Aligning Polaris's expected changes with past supernova instances reveals useful comparisons. We can gauge our expectations by looking at well-documented supernovae like SN1054 Crab Nebula or SN1987A. Studying resulting events such as nebula formation, cosmic ray release, assessing similarities, luminosity variations, element ejection, and effects on surrounding celestial environments lays the groundwork for understanding what might happen after Polaris transforms. Comparing expected outcomes with observed supernova events aids in predicting Polaris's fate. Analyzing light curves, spectra, and remnants from these events and projecting similar features for Polaris's expected burst helps predict the potential stages of resulting celestial remnants. To make a solid comparison, scientists study differences in mass composition and speed of ejected materials between Polaris's anticipated burst and other observed events. Examining whether Polaris's burst could lead to nebula formation or different elemental distributions will deepen our grasp of its unique characteristics. Analyzing how Polaris's burst might differ from or resemble other supernova events involves scrutinizing the evolutionary paths of stars leading to their explosions. Here, we aim to compare the mass, metallicity, and evolutionary paths of stars in the pre-supernova stages, linking them to Polaris. 
This exploration will uncover potential differences or similarities in how these explosions happen. Another crucial aspect has stirred the scientific community. Studying the rhythmic variability of stars approaching their final stages, similar to Polaris, against observed precursors to supernovae is vital. This comparison helps discern resemblances or deviations. Examining whether Polaris's irregular pulsations align with characteristics found in other stars approaching their explosive endpoints enhances our understanding of the bursting mechanism. Though this aspect is familiar, analyzing Polaris's projected burst compared to historical supernova events and smaller bursts promises insights for prediction. Comparing and examining potential outcomes in this endeavor will provide crucial insights into the distinctiveness or similarities of this celestial event in the grand cosmic scheme. However, it's unwise to rush to conclusions. The irregularities observed in Polaris's behavior challenge conventional understanding, persisting as an enigmatic puzzle without a complete explanation. Anticipating the exact moment a star's life will conclude remains a complex challenge. The perplexing, irregular pulsations of Polaris demand deeper investigation. Astronomers feel the need to understand the reasons behind the unusual behavior of Polaris. Figuring out what's causing these irregularities is crucial for advancing our understanding of how stars evolve and behave. Polaris serves as a reliable point of reference for calibrating telescopes in celestial navigation. It plays a significant role in astronomical work and the importance attached to it might lead to some bias among those assuming the star will stay the same. The uncertainty about Polaris's future and the potential for it to burst raise serious concerns as highlighted by recent findings from the Royal Astronomical Society. The mysterious behavior of Polaris emphasizes the need for thorough investigations and dedicated research. Astronomers are grappling with the complexities of irregular pulsations, recognizing the need to understand the unique conditions causing this unusual behavior. However, the concrete answer remains unknown, and only time will reveal it. Our part is to deepen our understanding of the mechanisms shaping Polaris's irregularities. If Polaris were to experience a catastrophic event, losing this important reference in the night sky could significantly impact the accuracy of ground-bars telescopes and celestial measurements. This would require recalibrating our instruments and affect the precision of astronomical assessments, an irreplaceable loss. The strange behavior of Polaris introduces uncertainties in the field of astronomy. The possibility of an impending burst calls for increased vigilance, focused research, and a collective effort to understand the unique celestial intricacies influencing its erratic behavior. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. See you in the next video.